What is going on guys, my name is 4G, so today I wanted to make a video talking about Will Chapter 2 Season OG, or I guess it's actually properly called Chapter 2 Remix, will this season that we will be seeing this November in just about a week I believe it is, so will this season end up being as popular or even more popular than Chapter 1 Season OG? Now right off the bat I wanted to make this video because I want to see in the future if I was right, if I was wrong, I just think that's kind of interesting. Now we're going to get into it though, do I think it will be more popular? I do not think so. Do I think it will be on par? Maybe, but I don't think so either. And here's the reason. It is not because chapter two is worse than chapter one. I mean, to me it is personally, but in the general population, I'm not saying that is the case. But the reason for it is because season OG, first of all, was a complete surprise. There was no leaks. Well, there was eventually at some point, but it was closer to the time. It was more like sometime in October and we didn't really have all that much information. It was just some text in the files or something like that in particular from what I remember. It wasn't like actual images like we have for all the content that we've seen throughout this entire year for Fortnite. This time, we actually have known about Chapter 2 for a very long time. Now, maybe that allows you to build up hype and that actually allows other people to build up hype. I don't really know exactly, but for me, it just kind of ruined it a little bit. But also, it's the fact that they've already done it, okay? We've already seen a Season OG, and that's fantastic. I honestly think that they should make Season OG if they're not going to make map rotations and bring back the maps just as they are, even with current loot pools, but you can actually go back and play it, or a permanent OG mode or something, I don't know. But if they're not going to do that, they should definitely bring back a season OG every single year, and just cycle between chapter 1 and chapter 2. I think that would be pretty interesting. Anything else, chapter 3, chapter 4, at least not for a while, just that's not really a thing. Also, I just don't think those are popular enough. I could be wrong about that. Either way, I don't think those are the play to bring back for OG, because they're not OG. Even a few years from now, they will never be OG in that situation. But either way, they've already done this. Once you've done something like like this, it's kind of hard to recreate that spark. I mean, they did it technically. I mean, if you really think about it, Fortnite in itself, back in 2018, it blew up out of nowhere. And then not even that long ago in 2023, they did it again. I mean, it was temporary this time or a lot shorter of a period of time rather than 2018. Obviously, 2018 was still a temporary amount of time, but this time was only for about a month or two. Once chapter five was around for a while, people started losing interest. Now, that's not to say that people fully lost interest once chapter five dropped, because that's not true. We had like a million plus players on Lego Fortnite alone when that first dropped, but people lost interest as Chapter 5 was. It was a completely different game over time, and I mean, who's to say it wouldn't have changed anyways? People might have lost interest anyways. A big chunk of those people probably just came for nostalgia, but also, I think they came for the Season OG experience, and when that was removed, well, people left. But with Chapter 2, they're doing it again, so it's going to be difficult to recreate that spark yet again and absolutely bring back a ton of players. Now, will it be a very popular thing? I do think so. I do believe it will bring back more players than are already currently playing the game. I do think that. But on par with Chapter 1 OG, I'm just not so sure about that because there was so much more nostalgia and experience with Chapter 1 because, of course, that was when Fortnite was completely brand new to everybody. So anybody who played it for a couple months even, that's it, and they left after that way back in the day, they might have came back for that because it's familiar to them, but Chapter 2 wasn't. But here's a point in Chapter 2's favor that might make it actually seem like it could be as popular or maybe even more popular, maybe, I don't know, than chapter one. That is the fact that chapter two, the majority of it, or maybe not the majority, but a big chunk of it took place during lockdowns when people were at home with nothing better to do. There was nothing else to do. Everyone was online. So it, it created a really crazy social environment that really cannot be recreated even in chapter one. Okay, in chapter one, I guess it just naturally happened because people wanted to play Fortnite. In chapter two, they were stuck at home and Fortnite's a very popular game. And I mean, they still wanted to play Fortnite clearly because they could have played a million other games. But I mean, that was was the real reason that they were on is because they had nothing else to do in the real world, basically. Not me, though. I was playing Fortnite regardless if that happened or not, if I'm being completely real. I was grinding Chapter 2 Season 2, trying to get Golden Peely. Never got to that point because at a certain point, I got absolutely burnt out. But yeah, point is, I think because of that, there is a possibility that it could be incredibly popular, even more so than it already is. Because here's the thing, you already see people on Reddit and Twitter and, my bad, X. God, I'm not calling it that. No. You see people on social media in general talking about Chapter 2 being amazing but are those actually the people who originally left? Or are those the people that are still playing the game today? And if you're still playing the game today, you're not really going to be adding to that player count number, you know? I'm talking about the overall player count here. People who have stopped playing Fortnite and they will be coming back for this Season OG. I think that there's going to be a lot of people, but I do not think it will be on par with Season OG for, as I said, the reasons being that it already has happened and it's Chapter 2, which is just not OG to a lot of people. Now, to me, I think it's the closest thing we've got 
happened to OG in a very long time because it actually had an original loot pool, hit scan weapons, that original movement that actually hasn't been around since chapter two. What I mean by original movement is there was no sliding, no mantling, none of that stuff. It wouldn't work nowadays because we have zero build, but I'm just saying like that was the original movement. They did not touch the movement in the entirety of chapters one or two, as far as I'm aware. I don't think they changed anything about the movement. It was very basic, very simple. So when it comes down to that, yeah, I can see chapter two being somewhat worthy of being called OG, maybe not the entirety of chapter two, but yeah, I think the first three seasons as they're going to be doing, I think that is technically worthy of an OG season, especially chapter two season three. I really love that season, man. The entire map flooding with water was so interesting and it's not something they've ever done since. And, and also even the event that built up to that with the, the storm turning into a literal ocean that you would get on the bus and it was just a giant ocean below you. That was absolutely crazy. I mean, that was after an event, of course. That wasn't like during the actual game. Actually, no, it was during the game. I remember you could swim through it. Now, that was a crazy short period of time because then shortly after the season dropped. Another reason I think chapter one will be more popular is just because of the fact they went through a bunch more seasons than they will be with chapter two. With chapter two, we're only seeing seasons one through three, but with chapter one, we saw seasons five through 10. That's more seasons, more content. I mean, maybe not, but I do feel like that's kind of how it would play out, especially all that content packed into one month because they did unvault things every single week and go throughout the seasons and change the map every single week. It is kind of unfortunate because I do think that seasons seven and eight are actually really good. And I would like to see those bows at least from season six of chapter two. I think that would have been pretty nice to see. Unfortunately though, we will not be seeing these seasons this particular chapter two OG. Let's hope that they ever bring back chapter two. They go for the other seasons as well. I think it would have been nice to see. I would have liked to see seasons one, two, three, seven, and eight, honestly, when it comes to this game in particular. Six was uh, pretty mid, of course. Uh, season four, it was Marvel, so I'm not sure they could recreate that with the exact licensing or whatever. I don't know how that would work either way. Uh, five, kind of boring, nothing really going on other than the sand and I guess salty towers or whatever it was called. Salty towers wasn't that bad, I guess. And then season six, of course, is well disliked by the community just because of the crafting materials, the makeshift weapons, things like that. So I don't think they'd bring those back. But season seven and eight would be fantastic to see. And also something I think is awesome about chapter two returning, even for just the three seasons for a month, is it allows people who didn't get to experience that to experience chapter two. Same thing with last year with chapter one, it allowed people to actually experience chapter one if they were a newer player. Well, in this case, it's the same thing. Kind of crazy to think that newer players would not have started with chapter two or chapter one, but they could have started with chapter three, four, or now five. It's, it's actually kind of crazy to think of. But either way, I know, for example, I have a friend who played chapter one, completely skipped out on the entirety of chapter two, came back in chapter three, and yeah, so he completely missed chapter two. So this will be like a completely new chapter four. So that'd be kind of interesting to play. But anyways, I do think that chapter two OG, or sorry, remix, will be quite popular, okay? I do think it will be very popular. I just do not think it will be on par with chapter one OG because there's something about chapter one that is very, very special to people. And I think that while well, chapter two is, has a lot of very fun moments and it will be very fun to revisit for sure. But I think something about chapter one was just very special to a lot of people and that's why they returned. Now I could be wrong. Maybe people drop out of nowhere. We go back up to 5 million, 6 million concurrent players again when we see chapter two OG. But I feel like that will not be the case this time. We'll have to wait and see, I guess. But yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I would love to hear what you guys have to say. And if you guys enjoyed this video, a like would be greatly appreciated. If you're new here and you like videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.